So I finally got my new drift car. So, all right. I found this Miata on Craigslist. It was 2,500, or no, what was it? Facebook Marketplace, my bad. Uh, it was 2,500 bucks. On the way over there, it kind of looked ratty on, on Facebook, like from the photos. So we get there and Frank kind of rips this guy's car apart. And as we're going through it, Frank discovers that the steering is kind of loose. The subframe ears have broken where the rack holds on and it, it just is in there all fall floppy. Did you not see that the other day? No, I wasn't under here. Uh, yeah. Oh man, she's an oily, oily girl down here. Yeah. Just check spark. We'll put spark plugs, check, check coil packs. Definitely needs a new valve cover gasket because this thing is leaking all over the place. One car, no battery. That's the spark plug. We're gonna have to plug up your arms. All right, we got power now. Time for spark check. Baby spark. <laughs> Baby spark. Everyone's got at least a tiny baby little spark. This is the old one. It's not it's not too bad. I'd keep it. Okay. I was expecting this to be like you know, snap yeah. into a million pieces. Right. There's four. I mean, they look like, like coking, like oil coking. Like mm. sludgy almost. Yeah, they're super coated. And then you know what? I bet you not running an O2 sensor is just dumping fuel. Oh, cause you know what? He said it through hot boy flames. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> From stock ECU, I mean, come on. Just dumping fuel Dude, and then like when it does light, it just. This boom. doesn't even have like an electrode on it. Or it's. Basically, I mean, basically gone. gone. <laughs> Hot boy flames. And that's so no hard. good. You got it, Kev. Two years from now, you're still going to be driving this. It'll be turboed, and you're going to have so much fun that you're going to say, Why do I need a format? Still buying the Corvette. There's, there's years, some, though. there's some, <laughs> some C6 <clears throat> subframes. I had one. It was just a roller, but sold to a buddy. He cut it up. <clears throat> so I'll use this for some kind of rat drift project of a sort. You know. If all you guys subscribe to our YouTube, we can make some money and we'll make some really cool. Jap that gapped them, Johnny's correctly. Dude. Factory out of the box gap. Ain't no gap in these. <laughs> you didn't want to go for the the soot edition or whatever this is. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah. This one's got like all of the gap. Look at the difference in that. Huge. All right, got the new new battery on. See if it cranks. He still misfires. <laughs> oh yeah, we got some, some juice. I think it's running on all four with a very loud lifter tick. You know about that generic Bob O'Reilly's. Let's see what your skills are. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. See this here? That is a Miata. 710. Golden, stick. golden piece. These are always broken. <laughs> the fact that it's still a full dipstick is amazing. Nice. All right, so Frank's getting an O2 bung out, her O2 sensor, and I'm gonna wire that in. And I'm gonna get down here and weld the subframe. Oh, and Frank adjusted the coilovers. About a half, half inch? Quarter. Maybe quarter. We'll quarter inch. It's on the ground. So. so we got this thing clamped up. She's just dirty. A little quick O2 sensor wire repair by Frank. I blasted on the subframe as you saw, so we'll go rip it.